During the entirety of 2022, I worked my way up from a 10 cent Night Goblin all the way up to the most expensive Warhammer miniature sold today. The Warlord Titan! And last week, we finally managed to get an offer for a Warlord Titan! After spending almost three weeks painting up this $2,000 Adeptus Custodius army. It's insane, I know! And the Titan is finally on the way. But in here, we still have a Warbringer Titan left from the trades. It's the little brother of the big... Warlord Titan! So today, we'll paint up this bad boy to see if we can manage to get a second... Warlord Titan! And then maybe with that, we can do something quite outerwardly with two Warlord Titans before we auction them off for charity. So let's see what's in there. So, we've had this box for like one and a half months. And I have no idea how the Warbringer actually looks. Is the Warbringer Titan even in here? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Let's go! There's a body in here. Okay, can we show this on YouTube? What the hell? I think we might have a penis cannon. This is like the best package we've ever received. Well, we haven't seen the parts yet. It might true. be broken. It is broken! Oh yeah! yeah. Nice! Oh. <sighs> this one is broken as well. But it's not too bad. This is fixable. Yeah, yeah. For being a penis though, you'd expect it to be slightly larger. What is that? The broken pelvis. This one sounds broken too. Who will be ready first? The self-proclaimed bubble wrap expert or big brain Emil Song. Considering I have like 200 meters of bubble wrap. Don't here. make an excuse now. Oh yes, look at this. Everything is broken. But this one is mostly broken in like the glue parts. So I'm guessing it's the cold maybe in the shipping. Do you have any other... This just fell apart when I... <laughs> what the hell? Is it like melted sugar? No. Yoohoo glue, probably. Yoohoo! There we have a broken bit that's broken. Everything is slightly loose. It's actually painted, and it's not uh, really bad painted, but it's not Squidmore painted. So we're obviously gonna repaint it because we're mad. Let's make a plan. Step number one, we have to remove all the panels on the body so we can reprime them white and repaint them. Step number two, clean up everything that have glue leftovers and start building it back together. Number three, paint all of the panels yellow and start weathering them. Because we want this Warbringer to look like a traitor Warbringer. Step number four, paint all of the rims with a copper tone. Step number five, do an epic freehand on one of the shoulders. Step number six, bring everything together. So with everything being broken and shipping, I'm a little bit worried we're not gonna be able to make it in time because it's gonna be like two more days of work just putting it together. Yeah. We have to try though. As always, we've found ourselves with some problems because on these big panels, the paint just seemed to come off. I don't know what's happened. It's just like in the old yellow stripe, the paint doesn't stick. So I'm gonna have to strip these of all the paint and redo them from scratch, I guess. The resin has now been soaking for a couple of hours and hopefully all the old paints and dust and shit has uh, 
removed itself from the resin so we can prime it and paint it. Oh, looking really weird. So this is actually what made us do this in the first place. If you look here, the yellow stripes are just tape. This has become our new favorite way of painting yellow. It's contrast paint through the airbrush. So easy. Save time. Let's go. I think we can reuse these hazard stripe panels because uh, it's gonna fit anyway with the yellow. Once we get like streaky grime and stuff there, it's gonna be amazing. But I'm gonna start repainting the metals to like lift them up one notch. We're gonna start with gunmetal gray, be the dark shadow, and then we're gonna do silver from above. Valeo sent us their entire new game color range to try out and maybe make a review for a video. But we got it so late that we don't have time to try everything. So we're just gonna paint the rims of the Warbringer Titan using the color Hammered Copper and base our entire opinion on the line just based on this color. It makes sense. Step one, paint the copper. Final verdict for the entire game color range. 7 out of 10. I think it's a little bit monotone, it felt just coppery. Oh, hello! I didn't see you guys there. So uh, we have this panel with this big gear in the center. I have a vague memory of these gears having like a split black and white Adeptus Mechanicus uh, symbol or something. So uh, free handing time. So, the panels are painted, we have all the edges done in copper, and it's already starting to look quite decent. But, we do want to make this one look a lot cooler. Which means that we have to grime it down, make it look grimdark, so it really feels like a heretic sort of titan. And honestly, the best way to do that, and the easiest way to still make it look amazing, have always been streaky grime. There is a problem with streaky grime though. About half a year ago, they changed the recipe, making it a lot greener instead of sort of the warm, reddish, yellowy tone. So we have not really been enjoying the color tone from it. But, we have a solution. Because AK does have a bunch of different other streaky grimes. This one is called Rust Streaks. So we're gonna mix about 50-50 with the new streaky grime with Rust Streaks and it's gonna bring it to about 95% similar to the old streaky grime and just dirty down the whole thing and it's gonna look uh, 10 times better in 3, 2, 1. I'm just gonna spend a few hours trying to make the most amazingest, beautifulest freehand I've ever done. It's gonna be right here. And I've actually done a little bit of a Photoshop mastermind thing. It's gonna be a red circle with a golden kraken in it. I mean, Squidmark kraken. Amazing. So I'm just gonna slap on the audiobook again and get to work. So 
So, what are you listening to? I'm listening to Baron and Luthien by J.R.R. Tolkien. Nice, old school. Yes. I'm gonna let you go at it then. This week's sponsor, Audible, is perfect for situations like this. It is the home of audio entertainment and has an incredible selection of audiobooks throughout all possible kinds of genres. Sci-fi and fantasy like Lucas and I prefer, or memoirs, thrillers, wellness and motivation. Every month we get to select one book from whichever book we want. And this month I personally selected Ghoul Slayer. But the best thing is that we get access to a huge library that keeps growing every month with Audible originals, audiobooks and podcasts. And this is where Audible shines. It is a product that I've personally paid for something like three years now. So I'm incredibly happy that we have Audible back as a sponsor for the channel. And I cannot recommend this enough as a customer myself. Honestly, it feels like the perfect Christmas gift to either yourself or to someone you love. All in all, Audible will help you laugh, be inspired or be entertained. And new members can try out Audible for free for 30 days if you follow the link down below or text Squidmark to 500 500. You still have time before Christmas, so just get at it. It is starting to look quite cool, but we need a nozzle burn and a few other things. But I'm gonna start with the nozzle burn, which pretty much means that... Which pretty much just means that I'm going to make it look like this one I've been burned throughout the years from very hot temperatures. So I'm gonna grab some Green Stuff World inks and I'm gonna make it look amazing. I'm gonna use the same orange ink as I did when I did the muscle burn, but do it to shade some of the yellow because some parts of it feels a little bit flat, especially around the face area. So yeah, I'm just gonna get at it. It's gonna go quite fast because the airbrush is an amazing tool to just speed things up, especially when they're huge like this. I've finished the last oxidization of the last little um, wing nut thing and Emir is finished painting all the oil streaks. We've done the rocks on the base. I don't know, is it just like the glowing weapons left? Yes! Emil, what you doing? Well, we have an offer for a Warlord Titan, so I'm just gonna photograph it and send it to the guy and see if he likes the paint job. And if he does, then it's freaking two Warlord Titans. So let's do a grand reveal and we'll show you guys afterwards if we got the second Warlord Titan.
Mm. So, uh, <laughs> Emil, it smells so good. Yeah, yeah, it does. Have you told them about the like button? No, I haven't. But uh, if you liked the grand reveal, I think we deserve one because that will help this video get viral, and we like that. Also, guys. I sent the photos to the guy who offered us a trade for this one, like 20 minutes ago. And he already gave us a reply. What did he say? He was freaking hyped! Which means that we now soon have two, not one, Warlord, Warlord Titans. Titans! Which makes me kind of hyped. When people started writing we should trade for two Warlord Titans, I thought that was a ridiculous idea. But now we have almost two with us yes and i feel like if you don't want to miss out us getting two unboxing them maybe even in less than a week if we manage to get it in time then you should hit subscribe because i know that 60 percent of you aren't subscribed and we want to reach half a million which means like we need eight thousand of you to subscribe it's gonna be easy just do it so we can reach our goal this year half a million we deserve it and thanks to all the patrons especially this guy yeah oh I think, by the way, in the week two, we're gonna show you guys our plan for the Warlord Titans diorama because we have made some insane plans. Yeah. So, uh, subscribe. Do it. And thanks for the money sponsor. 